little six and a half miler around the castle grounds. And then you can kind of see along this coastal route going down this way. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, a few miles down past where the town ends and uh, along the water. Sweden, right across the water there, the channel. Really incredible. It's also my first cold water, cold water, cold weather run. You see, I got my winter gear out. Although it's not too bad, it's about 45 degrees. The sun is shining. But I mean, come on. Does it get any better than this? Running around Hamlet's Castle. Water side of the castle coming around the edge here. There's like some inner boats too. And um, that's looking south. That's looking, um, what is that, east, I guess, over to Sweden, which is not that far. Now the beach here, and uh, there it is. Doing a little work. side now kind of in the inner area here we got the tourists starting to come to the castle morning and uh yeah that's why it's a scenic route along the sea okay little dogs are loud Kronborg castle that's it. I'm trying to remember the name now I got it Kronborg castle I'll call it the Hamlet castle uh pretty impressive structure. No time to go in. I gotta go to the airport back in Copenhagen at 10 30. Catch that next trip. Well fortified of course. Old school European castle style. What's up? Welcome, I'm here in beautiful Bratislava, Slovakia. I uh, just finished run along this beautiful path. Four miler. I was planning on doing 10. Wasn't really feeling it today. I'm uh, gonna try again tomorrow, but uh, my body just wasn't cooperating. I feel like my outfit's cooperating nicely. Rocking the green all over. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it's kind of what I ate earlier. But got in a solid four. You know, every day's different. Uh, this path is incredible though. I was really inspired by this and the weather. Kind of Indian summer vibe. It's like 70 degrees, 65, 68, something like that. Right along the river here, this path all the way to um, the old city and back, uh, which was nice. Um, um, right back there, that cantilevered thing there is the edge of our hotel. Um, and then going that way is towards the old city. Ran a little bit back this way too, but um, you know, with running, especially as you start to push, push the distances, every day is different. You know, some days you're really feeling great. Some days you think you're feeling great and you're just not feeling it. You got to kind of plug away I think every day try to adjust your body your diet as needed for me you know I've been doing so much air travel that sort of takes a toll on your body so some days I'm cool other days I'm not I try not to get discouraged and just get back out here the next day um, but really happy to be here excited grateful to be able to run you know in Slovakia that was nothing I was ever planning on doing but I always enjoy these these riverside paths they're super Oh, this is the Danube, by the way. I guess I should be doing the waltz along the Danube River. Because, um, you know, we're right across the, we're like 20 minutes from Austria, from Vienna. All right, peace. What's going on? Good morning. Uh, still here in Bratislava, Slovakia. Um, great to be here for another day. Actually traveling up to Poland later today. 
uh, but no gig today and uh, travel day. So I got time to get a run in. It's a little cooler out. I'm on the same path here on the Danube River. Um, beautiful path here. Got the bikers, got the morning sun. Um, so I'm gonna actually run down that way. Kinda went the other way yesterday. Well, I went both ways, but I'm gonna go for a little longer run, see how things go. It's a little earlier, it's a little cooler. I feel a little better today. Kinda got good sleep. I haven't been sleeping great on this trip, but anyway, um, I'm gonna take a little run, see how it goes. All right, seven miles done. And then here, can you see the, the castle? It's pretty cool. Got a lot of castle up there on the hill. Oh, uh, good run. Went outside of town, the far end, that way for about two miles, then back about here, and then a mile and a half or so down past the old town. That away, other side of the bridge, and then back here. So feeling really good. Starting to get the mileage back up. It's a little slower than I was expecting, but if I add a mile or so each longer, and I think it'll be cool. All right, hope everyone's doing beautifully. Peace. What's going on, folks? Peter Martin here. I'm in uh, Pornache, France. On the west coast, uh, not too far from Nantes, and just had a great run along this coastal route, along this beach over there. Uh, went about four miles down and back, and uh, then I went out this little peninsula, not much of a peninsula, a little harbor area with a bunch of sailboats. Construction going on. Anyway, I got these glasses when I was in um, Paris uh, at Decathlon. Really digging these, some nice um, UV running glasses. Anyway, I had a good run, feeling a little bit better. Uh, got a little bit longer run in seven miles, a little better time on my way. Uh, we're doing a gig tonight and then tomorrow to loose. Peace. What's going on folks? Peter Martin here coming to you from Toulouse, France. I just had a beautiful run on this path along the canal. It was actually even prettier where I started. It wasn't by a road and I, I uh, when I turned around I came back on, on an incorrect canal. But anyway, had a great uh, time anyway and I think I just ended up over by the venue. This big arena place that we're playing the gig tonight. Many mighty ships are sinking And many stars are falling down Anyway, um, felt really good. Had to put a little bit of winter gear on. It's not really cold, but it's overcast. It's getting a little cool, so. Anyway, great run. Loving Toulouse. Now I can tell that you've been praying What's up, folks? Peter Martin coming to you from Porto, Portugal. I'm here right at the edge of the Atlantic at the Old Fort. Old Fort, because I don't know the name of it. Um, at the edge of downtown. Dude on horse, dude on bike. Um, I came down the street on the other side of this big roundabout that you can't see. I ran about three miles down from the hotel. Uh, I'm going to run back, take a little break here to talk to you guys, say what's up. Uh, that's Avenue do Bell Vista or Buena Vista, whatever the Portuguese is for good view. Big street, uh, kind of main thoroughfare that goes cuts right through town with some beautiful modern architecture. Um, one of which we played a concert last night, the Palo de Musica. It's just incredible. Uh, but it's really pretty here. The sun just rose. Um, and travel, kind of long travel day to France via Germany today. But great to get out. I ran through the, um, kind of through there. You can see a little bit. Can you see? P 
peeking through there, the uh, city park, which is which is really nice. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, the entire run down here to the water from our hotel on Bull Vista was um, downhill. So I got about three miles of uphill going. I was gonna run along this coastal route here. You can kind of see, but I don't have time because we're going to the airport in an hour. So anyway, um, it's going well. Tour continues. The music's been beautiful. Meeting some great folks. Traveling with some great folks. The running's been really good. Um, and uh, enjoying the fall. All right, peace. What's going on, folks? Peter Martin here, coming to you from Lyon, France. I'm alongside the uh, Rhone River, just halfway through my run. Uh, beautiful path here that extends along the, uh, the Rhone. Some beautiful modern architecture. Not really sure what that building is, but I'm gonna find out. Uh, um, ran from the other side from the Cité area, uh, back where the hotel is, on the other side of the um, old part of town, the main part of town, the first Andrasmont, and uh, down to here about four miles, gonna head back in a second, and uh, it's a beautiful day here, it's about 62 degrees, crystal clear, beautiful waters of the Rhone, and uh, looks like they got the circus going on over here, feeling good. All right, let's do four miles back. Peace. All right, back uh, north of the city here in uh, the Cité area. This was the path, just beautiful, along the Rhone here. And this bridge, this pedestrian bridge, is just incredible. It uh, goes over to, the other side has these cool stairs. I don't know much of it you can see. We're right on the road. Awesome run. Feeling good, feeling prepared. That was eight miles. I know the half marathon's 13, but uh, I think I'm ready for number two. All right, peace and love from Lyon. What's going on, folks? Peter Martin here. This is gonna be the most tired you'll probably ever see me in these vlogs. I'm here in Sandvika, Norway. It's a suburb about 15 minutes or so south of Oslo. And I just ran up this little trail here. I'm on these islands, I forget the name. Actually, I saw the name and couldn't pronounce it or remember it, but right off of the town, there's these little islands, sort of residential, ran over here, and then there was a little cutoff into, behind a school into these woods. Hey, there's a little kid there. And beautiful, but straight up, and really need some trail running shoes. What's up? Be careful, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing, tripping on all these rocks. Uh, don't really have the right shoes, but anyway, it's beautiful up here. Crisp, I don't want to say cold because I know it's going to get colder. Definitely crisp, 45 degrees. So, got some of the moderate winter gear out, but it's just incredible. And I'm hoping I'm going to get to the other side to the open water. And there's fjords up here, uh, and all that good stuff. So, definitely an interesting run. It was just on roads, but hilly roads two miles over to here from the little downtown center area where the hotel is. In San Vica um, and then uh, now we're straight trail so the Sun starting to go down even though it's three o'clock in the afternoon uh, that's that's Norway that's northern Europe Scandinavia all right upwards and onwards well I found the end of this trail beautiful wooded area goes this trail you got to pick up with a canoe at this point because wow beautiful
Okay, back on the front side of the island. Now, some beautiful views. Oh, sorry, should have stopped more, but it was feeling good. But a lot of kind of views like this. Uh, in some really pretty, very beautiful houses, residential, secluded, especially on the other side. Ah, you can't see. Anyway, on the other side of that little mountain I ran up. Uh, but all these little inlets here, people got their boats parked. Very nice, very nice.